بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی نارملائزیشن اینڈ ان دس لیکچر وی ول اسٹڈی دا ٹو این ایف دیٹ از دا سیکنڈ نارمل فارم سو فار وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ دا ریپرزینٹ اینٹیٹی کلاسز ریپرزینٹ اینٹیٹی ریلیشن شپ سو ناؤ وی آر ڈوئنگ دا نارملائزیشن اینڈ سو فار وی ہیو ڈن دا فرسٹ نارمل فارم سو ان فیکٹ we got this table that is in first normal form as it has no repeating group in it so when we are done with the first normal form we checked for the anomalies and we found that this table has the insertion anomaly that is i cannot insert a new student if there is no course for him i cannot add a new course if there is no student for it so it's insertion anomaly and if abdullah says please make my name muhammad abdullah then we will have to make that change as many time as right number 1 abdullah is present in this table so it is modification anomaly and if we want to change this title from ids to introduction to database system then we will have to make this change as many times as this ids is present in this table so this is known as modification anomaly and then the third one if i want to delete a student for example 3 babar bs sc 18 if i delete this record this data there is 242 ids 4 will also get deleted that we do not want to delete so this is deletion anomaly so although this table that we brought it into first normal form by making this composite key it is in first normal form but it has all the anomalies so we will move towards the second normal form we will uh, try to find out uh, the reason of the anomalies and then we will remove those anomalies or we will apply some rule of normalization so the second normal form is a relation is said to be in 2nf if it is in 1nf as i told you normalization is the step by step process so in the first step we brought that table into first normal form and then now there is no partial functional dependency in it so we will have to look at the table and we must know that what is the partial dependency and if it is present in the table then it would not be in the 2nf so we will bring that table into 2nf in the second normal form so first of all we need to study about the what is the partial what is the functional dependency what is the partial functional dependency so let's start with the full functional dependency right so say we have a relation r the table name is r and the column 1 is a the primary key then b c d e so this table this relation has five columns and if a can determine the values of b c d and e this is the primary key if i give you the value of primary key you can tell me b you can tell me c d and e that means a can determine b c d and e right so this phenomena that a is determining all these attributes is known as functional dependency or full functional dependency and these attributes b c d and e these are said to be that these are functionally or fully functionally dependent upon a that is these can be determined by this attribute a this column a so we do not need any other key this is the full primary key and all these attributes are dependent upon it so b c d and e are said to be functionally dependent upon a and it can be determined as now check we can show a and this arrow says determines a determines the values of b c d and e so all the keys are dependent upon the primary key and the full here we do not have some composite primary key so here it is very simple to understand that every attribute non key attribute that is b c d and e these all are dependent upon the primary key so this is full functional dependency so that means if in a table we have for example this is the table student having the one one uh, attribute as the reg number column reg number name address in class so when i give you reg number the we can find out the name address in class so that means 
registration number is the determinant it is the attribute that is determining the values of name address and class and name address and class are functionally or fully functionally dependent upon reg number that is we can get their values from the reg number so this is the example of full functional dependency so once we are clear about the full functional dependency now we can talk about the partial functional dependency so for the partial functional dependency say we have a relation r that has the columns a b c d and e and now here check we have a composite primary key a and c that means my composite primary key has two parts two parts right and now this part for example a if i give you the value of a and i do not give you the c that is i am not giving you the full primary key i am giving you a part of the primary key and if in any case this a can determine b then it it meant that in fact b is dependent of part of the primary key not on the full primary key so this dependency is known as partial functional dependency that is b is partially functionally dependent upon a or b is dependent upon part of the composite primary key so now i will read out the definition if we have a relation r a b c d e so these are the columns and part of the composite primary key determines one or more non key attribute so if a, deter a determines b or a determines b c not c d and d e. a determines b d and e or b and d then it would be partial dependency that is b is being determined by part of the primary key that is a d is also being determined by part of the primary key that is a so we will say that b and d are partially dependent upon part of the key so now check we can determine it like a determines b so what is happening here when i give you the value of a you provide me the value of b so check a determines b that is not the full primary key but part of the primary key is telling me the value of some other attribute so this phenomena is known as partial functional dependency and this b is said to be partial partially functionally dependent upon a so that is that this b is partially functionally dependent upon a and it can be represented as check this part a look this is the part of the primary key so a determines b partial dependency and d and e are being determined by the other part of the key that is c so this this is partial dependency and this is also partial functional dependency so in this way we will look at our table and we will try to find out if there is any partial functional dependency in our case or not now check if we look at this table this is the same table that we made in the 1nf and now we are moving towards the 2nf if i say that reg number can determine name and class it is true if i give you reg number 1 and i am not telling you the full primary i am not giving you 242 i am only giving one you are just easily giving me abdullah you are just giving me bscs 18 so name and class are dependent upon the reg number similarly if i give you 242 the other part of the primary key you can tell me the four starter and the credit hours sir 242 is ids and credit hours are four sir 244 is java and credit hours are three so now check in fact we have a full primary key but our attributes our columns name and class are dependent upon one half or one part and title and credit hours are dependent upon the other part so name and class are partially dependent upon the reg number and course and title and credit hours are dependent upon the other part that is course code partially dependent but when i talk about the grade i ask tell me the grade of reg number 1 now still you cannot tell me sir it has the a and the b plus i cannot tell you if i ask tell me the course uh, course code 242 and its grade you will not be able to tell me because 242 and check 242 and check 242 
so you will tell me sir 242 I can see the grade for 242A I can see the grade for 242SB I can see the grade for 242SB plus so sir we cannot tell you so I will ask what do you need else so you will just tell me sir we need the reg number and course code full primary key so when I ask 1 and 242 you will give me the grade A when I'll give you 1 and 244 you will give me the grade B plus 2 and 242 B so now if I check this grade this attribute is dependent upon the full primary key so this is fully functionally dependent and name and class and course attend credit hours are partially but now check this name and class these two attributes are dependent upon the one part that is reg number so I have written down partial functional dependency this course title and credit hours are dependent upon the course code partial functional dependency and now here we have grade and grade cannot be determined by the any part of the composite primary key we need the full primary key so this, this is full functional dependency so what we have done so far we have identified the partial dependencies in this table and the full dependency in this table so we have mentioned all these and now check the solution how to remove these partial dependencies because we have studied that relation would be only in 2NF if it is in 1NF and there is no partial functional dependency in it so what will we do we will try to remove this partial functional dependency so what is the solution we will mention all the full and partial dependencies we have done that already and again I have done that reg number determines the name and class so part is determining this partial dependency course code part is determining course item characters partial dependency and full key is able to describe the grades full dependency and now solution is make one table for each dependency one table for this another for this and another for this so let's see how can we move check I have this reg number that determines name and class this was the one partial dependency so I'll make a table with the name student and the primary key that is a determinant reg number this is the primary key and these are the non key attributes so this will become a table student next one was the course code course title credit art so now the course code became the primary key in the table course and these two attributes became the non key attributes now we have grade that is fully dependent upon the primary key the both parts of the primary key so we'll make another table with reg number and course code as the composite primary key and grade as the non key so when i check this is my solution student result and course now if we check and i try to insert data of a student i can easily add a new student for nasir bscs f20 very easily because these are not now connected or, or not a single table these are the separate tables so I can insert data of the student if I want to make this Abdullah as Muhammad Abdullah for the right number one I just need to do it once no modification anomaly if I want to delete a student I can delete any student it will not affect the courses in the course table so all the anomalies have been removed no insertion anomaly no modification anomaly no deletion anomaly in it same is the case with the course if I want to delete IDS I can delete that deletion anomaly is gone if I want to modify IDS into introduction to database system I can do that it is very easy so it I have to do it for once only and if I want to insert a new course CS245 robotics and 4 I can easily insert without having any student for it so now this is the solution now these all these three are fully dependent upon the primary keys there is no partial dependency in any of the of these tables so these are in 2NF so now we have reached to 2NF we have removed the partial functional dependency I can show you it from another point of view if we would have drawn the correct ERD 
student would have been another one table course would have been another table and they had a relationship student goes through the course he either passes or fails the course right one student can uh, go go through many courses and one course can be taken by many students so many to many relationship and binary so if this was the case and our ERD was perfect so in that case we were supposed to have a one one table for student so here it is one table for course here it is and one table for binary many to many whenever we have binary many to many we do not insert the foreign key rather we make a new table with the primary key of this table and primary key of this table as a composite key check reg number and course code and if this relation is associative entity you have already studied that if this is associative entity that is this relationship is gerund it has some attribute attached to it then this attribute will go to this relationship that has the for composite primary key so now you check one table student one is course and one is registration or the result and check the table that we got after normalization check this is the same table student sorry student course and result or the registration whatever so you can see that we had a wrong ERD from which we got a wrong table or a badly designed table we just applied one NF on it then two NF on it and we got these tables and if we would have performed the proper uh, designing in for of the ERD we would we would have got the same tables at that time too so in fact it is my advice whenever you are uh, designing the database it is better you should make a proper you should design a proper ERD EERD so that whenever you come towards the logical data model towards the table you will get less issue of anomalies there will be less need of normalization so this is for the today's lecture right you can see my other lectures at uh, Sir Imran teaches in YouTube so thank you very much. In the next class, we will come up with the 3NF or third normal form. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.